Angel nang magdudoktor daw siya paglaki. Taki babain din. Kublat ako. Pero gusto ko sana mag-ibang anak ko. Ano ba siya yung prep? Kanina po pong tanghali sinundo si Angel eh. Ano? Denise! Ang nilabas yung anak ko! Kasi Jessica Bernardino, asawa ko si Cedric. Mas mabait kaming kausap kaya sa sa kanila. Sana na natin siya sa Ismin. Bagi mo ang dalawang buwan. Dalawang linggo. Edgar, umalis na tayo dito. Uy, kumuha ng pera nila. Paano kung mamalik sila dito? Anong gagawin nila sa atin? Ang inasabihin mo kasi, hindi ka makontento! Nasabi niyo ba sa mga pulis ang bagay na ito? Isha, nahihiya kami pero talagang last resort na ho namin kayo. Tutulungan niya tayo. Okay. Huwag tayo tutulungan ang Diyos mo. Ito, galing sa mga kapatid na concern. Carl, kailangan lang buksan niyo ang inyong mga damdamin. Bishop, pampatayin nila kami! Eh, kung patumba natin kaya nabuhit yun. Sino'y problema, Ed Baguio? Ano? Eh, kipit na nga tayo sa oras! Nag-aaway pa kayo! Uy! Kakainin ba nila tayo ng buhay, Papa? Ikaw ay ang mayayin na. Para na The story revolves around Edgar who lives with his wife Kay and daughter Angel. Edgar dwells in a strange social sphere, characterized by an environment with social factors affected by Kay's father and the church community, entirely different from his old life in his hometown. The film is about the struggle of the couple as misfortune following the death of Kay's father took place. The father's death is the loss of the get-rich-quick scheme proliferated by himself and the birth of the conflict in the film. Wrath took over Kay's friends as they lost their invested money. Legal case has been filed against the couple which reflects the attempt of the justice system. However, Justice has been placed in the hands of those with wrath and those in power, portraying humans claiming the quasi-judicial form. Laws of humanity echoes in every character in the film. The wrath of the people became the instrument which inflicted crime. The opening scene wherein Edgar is digging is a symbolic act embedded in the message of the film. It somehow serves as a symbol that in the film, the act of digging connotes something will happen which is of low state. It signifies the characters digging up their own graves. Also, in the next scene, a dog searching for food is observed and so Edgar gives it some bread. We can say that the black dog, known to symbolize bad omen, signifies the start of a fit of misfortunes that will happen to their family. Evident in the film is the unconditional love of Edgar to his wife Kay. 
Edgar is portrayed to be a loving husband and a good father. This is reflected through different scenes starting from when Edgar rushed out of his car to help his wife with her bags. Scenes in the film speak of his unending love and respect for her even after years of marriage. These are followed by scenes that show his reluctance to see his wife beg, his outburst from his brother's rude comment about her, even if he admits himself that Kay was foolish. His panic willingness to go through the mining tunnel when he found out she was kidnapped, even when the water level inside has risen. And lastly, his anger which has driven him to kill after seeing his wife beaten and half dead. Edgar's character continued to unfold along the series of events in the film. After Angel was kidnapped and their lives were threatened, demonstrated as a warning when the couple involved in the kidnap ruthlessly cut the child's hair and showed off their gun. A deadline of two weeks was given to Edgar. He then sets to rob a bank but failed in the end because it was a life he already got away from when he left his hometown. Kay's scene in the bathroom shows how society sees women's character as fragile. Society looks down on women, showing the context that they are inferior to men. Also, the scene shows the hopelessness of Kay's character, which has been signified by the knife and on how the director put the scene in the frame as well as the camera angle and shot used in the scene. The scene also connotes Kay's neglect to God since she ought to take her own life. Sige nga, sabihin mo nga sa akin, bakit mo ba ginawa yun? In this scene, we see that religion is being used in educating children on how to behave properly. On the contrary, people who use religion as an excuse are the same people who instill in the minds of young children the value of inequality, of sexism. Magagalit sa'yo si Papa God yan, ha? Kababae mo pa namang tao, dapat hindi ka nakikipag-away. In this scene, we can see that at a young age, our teachers taught us that men are superior than women, and having no choice on the matter. Women are therefore expected to tolerate lewd ways of men, and that at a young age, fighting for your right would make you end up in the counselor's room or being placed in detention. In this scene, the low-angle shot used helps to create the idea of the pastor as being looked upon, speaking volumes about how the parishioners hold the phony pastor in high esteem. Their church then must be one of those that are cultic. Let us sing praises to the name! The hard driving away signifies that life sadly must still go on. It is a scene that finally sinks the ship of hope in the film because there was no justice or resolution that was rendered. Even if the car carries the body of her dead wife, it is still has to run and drive them home similar to Edgar's life, which despite all the burden of pain and wasted struggling must still move forward. Lastly, another job on religion made by the film is its soundtrack entitled Amanami which is a religious song that brings hallow to God's name, and it being sung as a background music to a film where there seems to be no God creates me. One could be the irony itself, or it could be about honoring fathers who will go to extreme lengths to save their family. And as Edgar's mother put it, kayang patawarin ang lahat, able to forgive everything. Oh uh -huh.